CP product here. A temp star. No cooling call upstairs system. So let's get some gauges on it and see what's going on. I had it turned off when I got here, which is Ooh, did you hear that hiss? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. That cap is full of oil. Look right down here. There's oil all over the place on this thing. So... Yeah, as soon as I, when I took that cap off, it blew, blew out refrigerant and hissed everywhere. And that cap is dry. So I haven't hooked up gauges yet. Before I do that, I'm going to try an old Craig Migliaccio trick. See if we can check this valve. Okay, so I'm back. Been meaning to do this after watching this video. I just didn't until today think about it. But he took a little metal cap and drilled a little tiny hole in the end of it, like you see right there. And I've got a real set of drill bit or uh, yeah, drill bits that has a really small one in there. And I was able to pop that little hole in his cap. And we're gonna bubble test that real quick. Let it sit on there. I haven't hooked any gauges up to it yet. While well, I'm letting that sit there, I'm gonna check these joints out here. Cause that's a pretty good amount of oil. On there, and there's a pretty good amount of oil down in the bottom in here. That's been spewing in there. And then the fan running, pulling it inside as it's spraying out, maybe. We'll look around the inside. The other valve core is dry. And I'm just checking inside of this Armaflex around this suction line. And that is dry as a bone. So with all that oil, if the leak was on that brace fitting over there, the inside of that armor flex would be soaking wet with oil. Both of these caps are on tight. My only oil is right around over in here. So we're going to bubble check that and see if it works. Hit it with a leak detector. We'll obviously put a new core in. We'll leave it running to keep my pressure up on that line. Let's, I don't have my sponge bottle leak detector it actually was out so we're gonna spray that and see if we get a bubble I mean, there is a other ring down in there that I if I can see yeah so we do have an o-ring in this cap see what condition it's in I don't know if the cap was on there so tight the o-ring was twisted and pushing against that core I don't aha uh -huh. there you go gentlemen <laughs> the cap that came off the unit doesn't have the o-ring like the cap on the other side. This, this is the one that came off of a refrigerant tank. No O-ring, it's flat. And you see the impression in the middle of it. These are the caps they put on a refrigerant tank. They don't have O-rings, they've just got that flat piece of rubber in the bottom because of a refrigerant tank. Refrigerant tank doesn't have a Schrader core. So if you put that cap on here, 
and you tighten it down that's why you end up with that little divot that is now in the middle of this that is usually not there this thing's been sitting out here pushing against the Schrader core the whole time go figure that so I'm not getting a bubble on this valve so I've got an o-ring cap on here with a hole drilled in the end so if there's any pressure building up in there it shouldn't take very long to start seeing a bubble there and I'm not getting a bubble so somebody hooked up to this thing lost the original cap somewhere put some refrigerant in it and then put the wrong cap back on put the refrigerant tank cap back on so this thing's been sitting there pushing against that Schrader core don't ever use the cap that comes off your refrigerant tank to go back on these units when you tighten it down you're going to squeeze that rubber they put in a piece of rubber in the bottom of it it's going to press that core and it's going to leak refrigerant so we're going to put metal caps back on it with o-rings and get this thing charged up none of these fittings are leaking and like i said place down here in the bottom you can see it rubbing it around in there all over my fingers so yeah they put they put this cap back on with this thing off your refrigerant tank instead of one that has an o-ring in it with the opening in the middle so when you put it on and snug it it doesn't push the shredder core in so let's get some new caps let's get some refrigerant get it hooked up to this thing get the charge set on it guys we got it back on hopefully I've got enough refrigerant to get this thing charged bleeding my hose hopefully I have enough to get it charged I've got about a pound and a half in this tank and if I'm lucky a pound in the other one about a 65 suction so I do not know we're going to give it a shot though we may have somebody close by and go run and grab just got running wide open for starting first thing this morning didn't have a chance to go by the shop go by the shop and get any but uh we'll see what I can do with this let that thing run until I get all the vapor out of that can then I'm gonna hook up to the other one see what's left in it <coughs> but yeah you gotta be careful with caps o-ring caps only don't don't use the cap that comes on the refrigerant tank because you'll be back outdoor unit so I'm not quite sure it's got a factory charge of 6.6 .6. hold on hold on oh right there in real little real little print 10 degree subcool right, I'm feeling that air getting warmer gotten everything out of this one Let's see what I've got left 
something on this one. Doesn't look like I'm gonna have enough, so I'm probably gonna have to. Go meet one of the guys and grab some. And something that simple it can be a problem. Make sure you put the right caps back on the unit, not the wrong cap. This unit's only about a year and a half old, so I don't know how long it's been sitting there like that. But uh, definitely long enough. Very seriously doubt there's a leak anywhere else in the unit considering all the oil saturation I have right down here <coughs> right around that valve and whether or not you guys heard it when I took that cap off it, psh, it hissed real loud shot some liquid out of it so anyway that's going to be about it on this one I'm going to finish charging this thing up may have to go run and get some refrigerant and come back um another guy about 15 20 minutes away but uh anyway guys make sure you put the right caps back on the unit and make sure they've got o-rings and try that little trick like i said it wasn't leaking i put that hole in there but i'm gonna start trying that on some leaking valve calls this one was leaking because it was being pushed in put that cap on there sealed it put some soap bubbles on that little hole nothing bubbled so that core is not leaking when it's when it's set in and uh, not depressed so anyway like subscribe appreciate you guys watching have a good one